All right, so welcome back everybody to another episode of review on another snatch block on my FJ4365 channel. Um, I've done another review earlier on a different brand uh, called Vault. Uh, this is an 8 ton snatch block and this one is just a little bit bigger. So this is a 10 ton snatch block that I'd like to show you guys and this is made by a company called Ranger. Anyways, if you've been watching, I've been doing a few videos on all the accessories I bought for my wench uh, to throw in the bag and in the FJ. Uh, when I do go on a trail, it's nice to be able to have some accessories and the right tools for the job. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so um, honestly, I, I, want, I bought two snatch blocks. One was 8 ton, this was a 10 ton, and the price point was a little bit different. Um, let me get the exact price here that I paid for this item. And as you know, I'm a big Amazon fan just because everything is free shipping. And I believe this is um, one day free shipping, just like my other products. Okay, here we go. And you know, it, it was it's kind of funny because when I bought the other snatch block, um, it was much cheaper. Um, and and the boxing had you know was really nice it was well um, prepared had a nice label thinking this is maybe good quality but you know through more reviews online Ranger actually might be the better quality but it came in this real, real generic um, packaging which is fine I mean you know you can't judge everything by the cover so this is a 10 ton snatch block which I bought on Amazon for Again, 40 bucks, here you go. And I don't see a part number on here either, so. Yeah, just a 10 ton, 22,000 pound capacity. Anyways, let's open this bad boy up. All right, so it's, this is actually maybe about the same weight as the other one. Um, eight to ten pounds right. here we go oh yeah oh yeah this is you know so for ten more extra bucks I was really debating whether I want to spend ten more extra bucks but if you look at this now, my buddy has a uh, worn um, snatch block, and those are run they those run around eighty to hundred bucks on Amazon.com, and it's very comparable to the worn snatch block. This is a um, um, more like a cast iron feel, whereas the other one just steel and powder coated. But this is more like a cast iron, and and the difference. Hold on a sec. Let me grab the other snatch block. So this is my bag of goodies here that I take on the trail or I just throw in my truck whenever I am on the road. So here's the vault snatch block that I purchased here. Let me show you the difference here. And I can tell when, when you pull this Ranger out of a box and this, it's like a night and day. So let me show you the difference here. So one. This thing is loosey goosey, right? Which is great. Not a big deal. See that? See that play light right there? And there's a pretty good gap between the wheel here. I mean, sure. But what's going to happen though is when you get your rope in there, uh, especially if you have a rope, it's going to it could easily get buried behind that wheel, and it's going it could be a bitch to get out. So that is a one negative with this vault snatch block, you know? So if you open it up, you can see that gap, right? You can see the play. All right. Now you take the Ranger, the Commander, and Conqueror. And look at this, this is really cool. So this is a raised, 
I don't think this is a sticker maybe yeah but this is the, it's metal engraving here which is really cool very high grade here and this is definitely heavier <laughs> um, so one this thing fits nice and tight look when, as, as, I, as I try to separate this there's absolutely no play and I am yanking on this you hear that nothing no planking and it just oh yeah this is much more fluid um, you know, um, the bearing's much more fluid. And there's not as much gap. There's a little bit of gap, but uh, definitely rope's not gonna get behind that thing and get stuck. So as I spin this thing, yeah. Sure, there's a little tiny bit of play, but it's very tight. It's very tight. And this, is, this also has a, a greasable fitting right here. So make sure you squirt some um, all-purpose grease in there to keep the bearings from seizing, um, rusting. But anyways, yeah, this is nice. Nice thing about this here. All right, so here we are. Um, my battery on my camera died. So let's go back to looking at this Ranger snatch block. As I was saying earlier, um, this doesn't have very many, very big gap. Um, a rope definitely not, may not get stuck in there. It could, but I don't think so. Um, if you look at, this, as a comparison, the Volt version, there's all kinds of, you can see quite a bit of daylight through that um, between the, you know, the, the support and the, um, the roller there. This has very little to none. And, and as I wiggle this back and forth, see how noisy that thing is? Hear the, hear the difference? Very smooth. Let's do that again here. Okay, let's... Okay. Okay, first, fault. Moves a lot. Very smooth. See that? So, guess what? I think that I am going to take this back, return this on Amazon, because Amazon's got a great return policy. If you feel like it's faulty or whatever, or broken, I think that is a manufacturer defect. Uh, the quality sucks compared to this guy here, so I'm gonna pay 10 bucks more to order another one. Yeah, this is nice. So, anyways, um, well, I think, I'm not sure if I covered this earlier, but so it's got these nice holes here, right? So in case your rope gets stuck behind the wheel, you'll know immediately that, um, oh, you know, gives you a little more visual there. So that's pretty handy. And like I said, this looks very comparable to um, the worn snatch block that I've seen. It feels the same. It's got the visual holes uh, of the worn. It has, worn also has a um, the greasable, greasable fitting on here. And honestly, I think this is gonna last you way much longer than the other um, Volt for 30 bucks. This is 40 bucks on Amazon.com. So yeah, don't waste your time on the Volt. Get yourself a Ranger. I think this is gonna last you guys much longer. Anyways, I hope you liked the review. If you like it, give me a thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe. Uh, that way you'll be notified on all the uh, updates I do on my FJ and whatever accessories I buy. Um, I will make sure I will do review on that pertaining to my FJ40. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.